You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. February 4th. Our topic is, Are You a Hypocrite? I once planted popo, papaya in my garden and it began to flower at about eight to nine months. I was very excited, but several months later, there were no fruits. And I began to wonder what the problem was. One day, a guest that I took around to view my garden told me that the plant was never going to fruit because it was a male popo. I was very disappointed and I cut it down the same day. My experience with that plant reminds us of what a hypocrite represents. A hypocrite is someone who pretends to have qualities, beliefs, or feelings that they do not really have. The Lord hates hypocrites. In Matthew 23, 13 to 30, six times Jesus accused the teachers of the law and the Pharisees of being hypocrites. And because of their hypocrisy, he said, Woe unto them, that is, sorrow awaits them. What sorrow awaits you teachers of religious law and you Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are careful to fight even the tiniest income from your herb gardens, but you ignore the more important aspects of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. You should fight, yes, but do not neglect the more important things. Matthew 23, 23. The Pharisees pretended to be righteous. Everything they do is for show. Matthew 23, 5a. The heart condition is what matters to Jesus. If you do the right thing, like fighting, for the wrong reason, it will not be acceptable to God. Practice justice, show mercy, and have faith. God wants us to display godly characters beyond our gifts. We should humble ourselves daily before the Lord so that he can search us and reveal our impure motive behind what we are doing. Everyone, including your pastor, may praise you, but what should matter most is what Jesus is saying about you. Our goal is to please him. The only way to stay on the right tracks is by doing his word. The psalmist said, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119 verse 11. Practical Reflections 1. What are my motives for the services I render to the Lord and people? Examine yourself. 2. Do I think my acts of giving and other services are pleasing to God? Why? Our Bible reading is from Exodus 19, verse 16 to 21, verse 21. Matthew 23, 13 to 39. Psalm 28, 1 to 9. Proverbs 7, 1 to 5. Our memory verse is from... Proverbs 7 verse 2, using the New Living Translation. Obey my commands and leave. Guard my instructions as you guard your own eyes. We would love to hear from you. Please send your messages and prayer requests to our email, office at logosofflameministries.org or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries, and drop a message. God bless.